Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. The details and animations for this year's Tanabata LR on JP have been revealed. We've got a new Tech LR Goku and Vegeta that fuse into Vegeta, as well as a new side AGL Super Saiyan Gotenks. So, of course, in this video, we are going to go through all their details, talk about, you know, what they do, how busted they are, especially the Gogeta. But before we get to that, we do, of course, have to watch these animations. And I'll be honest, I took a peek. I took a peek. I couldn't wait. As soon as I saw them pop up on my feed, I was like, <laughs> I gotta watch it right now. So this is not gonna be, like, a first impression, but I still, um, wanna watch it more, just because... I mean, based off first impressions, man, like, I think Gogeta's animations are now the best animations in the game. I gotta confirm, I gotta watch it a few more times, but I, I'm pretty sure he has the best animations, possibly the best OST, the best KO screen, the best counter animation. It's not really a counter, it's kind of, it's kind of like, you guys will see what I mean. Um, he kind of has a counter mechanic, but it's kind of different from like normal counters. And uh, he also has, I think, the best uh, active skill animation too. Just everything, man. Like, this Gogeta is amazing. Um, <laughs> it's kind of sad to say, but I'm actually more excited for this Gogeta than I am for the 6th Anniversary LRs, which uh, obviously are dropping on Global in like a week and a half. But, yo, this guy's more hype, I'm sorry to say. So, anyways, let's let's take a look at these animations. I'm talking too much. I'm very excited. Uh, I'm going to turn off my music here. And, of course, we're going to go over to these animations. We're going to start with the Gotenks first, and then go into the Goku and Vegeta. And then they'll fuse into Gogeta, and they'll see the, um, you know, active skill, the, you know, Gogeta animations, all that stuff. Okay, so let me turn this up just a little bit. There we go. Oh, enjoy, guys. Oh, hold on. Um, I think I actually started a little bit into the animation. So we're going to go to the front, go to the beginning. Here we go. Okay, so as you guys can see, Gotenks does have an attack all super attack. Um, just something I want to point out, right? He attacks multiple enemies. But uh, yeah, really clean looking animation for this Gotenks as a side unit. <laughs> I think it's great. I love the art too. But uh, now we're going to move on to the Goku and Vegeta. And I won't pause it until we see the whole thing. Here we go.
Okay, so as I said, Gogeta has the best everything, guys. He has the best super attack animations, the best active skill animations, the best OST in the game now, the best KO screen, the best active skill that I say that. He, just everything, man. Just everything. He's beautiful. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in this game. I I, I hope. I, I don't want to like overreact. I think I'm just reacting the the right amount, the appropriate amount for this unit, man. Like before the transformation, before the fusion, rather, they look good. You know, Goku and Vegeta is they they, they look good. You know, like I, I I like what they're doing. They're they're trying to do more like kind of 3D stuff, I guess. You know, with all the turning and stuff like that. It looks fine. I like it. It's clean. But um, man, after the fusion, hey, can can we can we? Okay, um. I was gonna say, can we talk about the card art too? Let me just pause that for a second. The card art is phenomenal. Let me actually take myself away for a second, um, so you guys can see the whole thing. But look, look at that, man! Just Goku and Vegeta with the, the Gogeta in the background, and then this iconic Gogeta Kamehameha. It's just, it's so good. It's so good. Just everything about this card, man. Everything about this unit. I'm just in love with I'm, I'm not gonna lie um but any, anyways uh going back to the animations uh there is one part i really want to point out which is this thing right here so as you can see they show him hold on no it's not here uh yeah they show him getting the 18 key super and then janemba tries to super attack you and he's like nah and he nullifies it so it's it's not quite like a counter because he doesn't counter attack but he will, I think, essentially cancel the enemy super. And we'll, we'll talk more about it in the actual card details, but he has like a super attack nullification rather than a counter. But it's really cool, man. It's really, really dope. And look at that KO screen. He's just, it's glorious, man. It's glorious. Okay, I, I gotta stop talking about the animation because we could, I could go on for a while. But the point is, it looks amazing. It looks amazing. Okay, so with that out of the way, we're gonna pop over to this uh, Google Doc, which I made real quick. And I kind of put together a few translations from a couple of uh, Reddit users. So a big shout out to user Nemo Dar as well as LT Thunder, cause they had like bits and pieces of the translation that I put together. And uh, you know, it looks legit. It, it, it seems to check out. I don't know if it's 100% accurate, but I would say like it's probably at least 95%, you know? And uh, yeah, let's go through it. Let's go through it. Let me actually take away the, the webcam again, just so I don't block anything. But here we go, guys. Tech LR Goku and Vegeta. This year's 10 of Bata LR. Reddit to Nemo Dar. And LT Thunder. Leader skill is time limit or connected hope category key plus three. HP plus 130% and attack and defense plus 170%. So obviously Connected Hope we know that's the, you know, PyCon led category right now. So they are a new leader for that category. But Time Limit is a brand new category. And based on the name, we can assume it's, you know, full of characters that have limits on their powers or a time limit on whatever ability they're using or whatever, right? So immediately what comes to mind is we got all the Gogetas, all the Vegetos in one category and then you can throw in some Super Saiyan 3s, right? All the Super Saiyan 3s, uh, UI Goku, um, so on and so forth. You know, I haven't thought about it too much, but just those characters alone is going to make this category extremely, extremely powerful, guys. Extremely, extremely powerful. Like, this is going to be a busted category. It might not be super big, actually, but even if it's kind of limited, which I don't think it's going to be that limited. I think it's going to be like, you know, like medium sized, medium sized. But the point is, it's going to be very, very OP. It's going to be a really powerful category, if my understanding is correct, which I think it is. So time limit category or connected hope, E plus 3, HP plus 130%, attack and defense plus 170%. 12 key super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. And then 18 key super raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal of damage and then passive this is of course as goku and vegeta before the fusion 
Uh, passive is attack and defense plus 120%, reduces damage received by 30%, high chance to change one type of key sphere to rainbow key spheres, and then key plus two in addition per rainbow key sphere obtained, so easier to get that 18 key super, and then medium chance to perform an additional super attack. So very reminiscent of the STR, LR, Goku, and Vegeta that fuses into Vegito, right? So definitely um, a lot of inspiration taken from that card, you can tell. Taken from that card. I don't know if I said that right. But uh, yeah, it, it, it's a lot of similarities. But uh, moving on, we have the active skill, which uh, can be activated when HP is 70% or above, starting from the fourth turn from start of battle. So not too bad. Four turns, 70% HP or more. Um, might be a bit of a problem, I guess, on some of the harder events like uh, Extreme Super Battle Road, where you're taking a lot of hits, taking a lot of damage. So sometimes you might not be able to get above 70% HP, but um, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad, in my opinion, as far as the fusion condition goes. And then the links, as Goku and Vegeta, are Saiyan Warrior Race, the Saiyan Lineage, Experienced Fighters, Shocking Speed, Prepare for Battle, Gears Battle, and Legendary Power. Okay, so once you fuse into Gogeta, you use that active skill. The passive is going to be recovers 30% HP once only, and then attack and defense plus 150%. Attacks effective against all types, of course. Great chance to perform, to perform a critical hit, which is a 70% chance. So you got the attacks effective against all types. And then more often than not, you're going to be doing a critical hit. And then randomly changes the type of key sphere to rainbow key spheres. E plus 2 when collecting a rainbow key sphere. So once again, much easier to get that 18 key super. If the enemy is super attacked, or sorry, if the enemy is attacked by an ultra super attack, so an 18 key super, Nullify being hit by a physical type super attack. So my understanding, and some people are still trying to figure out exactly what this means, my understanding is that if you do an 18 key super that turn, then you take a physical type super attack. Of course, the you know type super attacks in this game are divided into four types now. So if it's, if it's a physical type super attack, then you cancel that super attack from the enemy, right? So... You do the 18 key super, and then if you're going to be hit by a super, that's a physical type, it doesn't happen. You see the animation, right, of uh, Gogeta getting punched in the face and, like, not reacting at all, and then it cancels that super attack, which is pretty insane. For the first five turns, from, a, from first appearance, reduces damage received by 30%, E plus 5, and foresees enemy super attacks. So not only are you canceling super attacks, but you also are able to see where the super attacks are coming from, right? Because for the first five turns, you get to have that foresight. So um, you can actually put Gogeta in front of super attacks to ensure that you get that nullification. Um, and yeah, moving on from there, we got Lynx for Gogeta, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Fuse Fighter, Shock and Speed, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power, and categories are Time Limit, Fusion, Pure Saiyans, Joint Forces, Movie Heroes, Super Saiyans, Kamehameha, Otherworld Warriors, Final Trump Card, Connected Hope, and Power of Revival. Um, wait, Power of Revival? Uh, that, is that category? Am I just being stupid right now? It's very late. Either way, uh, they're in a lot of categories. <laughs> they're in a lot of categories. And... Uh, Lynx looks solid, from what I can tell. Um, pretty standard Gogeta Lynx, actually, so nothing too crazy there. But the passive is... Ridiculous. R ridiculous. I mean... 30% damage reduction for the first 5 turns, for seeing super attacks, he plus 5. Uh, nullifying physical type super attacks when performing 18 key super. Um, great chance for a crit. Attack defense plus 150%. Uh, he's going to be doing a lot of damage. He's going to be hitting super hard. The tanking's going to be great too, because of course you get a lot of defense, but also getting that damage reduction too. On top of that, and also not just, just not taking damage from physical type supers after you attack, which is also kind of crazy. It's, it's kind of like a new mechanic, right? And um, yeah, man, I need this card. I, he's amazing. This card is amazing, guys. Okay, um, real quick, we're gonna just go over the important aspects of the Gotenks. I didn't get too many details here, but what you need to know are what a super attack does, 
and also what his passive is. Okay, so for the Go Tanks, Super Attack raises defense for one turn, causes supreme damage to all enemies, and has a medium chance to stun too. So he's gonna be actually a really good attack all unit, most likely for uh, World Tournament, or even actually uh, Super Battle Road. I think would be good because he can stun multiple enemies with his Super Attack. And then passive is attack and defense plus 120%, additional attack and defense plus 70%. When facing one enemy, high chance of performing a critical hit, launches an additional attack. That is a high chance to be a super attack when facing two or more enemies. So even though you don't get this buff when facing multiple enemies, you do have a good chance, a high chance actually, of launching two supers. And then time limit uh, category key plus three, attack and defense plus 40%. So looking like an amazing side unit, just like, you know, it's been kind of the trend recently um, where all these side units are just top tier units as well, even though they're not like the main unit you're going for. If you get them, you're still really, really happy about it because they're fantastic, you know? So uh, there you have it guys. AGL Gotenks looking great. Goku and Vegeta slash Gogeta looking busted as, as hell, you know, just, just, crazy crazy broken and uh i love it man i love it i mean i i, I could you know what? i'm not gonna say i could care less like, i do care about what they do obviously I, I really do care about what they do but at this point all units that come out are gonna be good it's just like what to what to what degree of busted they are but they're all gonna be good it's the animations man and the animations best in the game easily in the game no contest for the gogeta of course the active skill the ko screen i just love it all man i gotta have this unit i really do i gotta have this unit so uh there you have it guys um if there are any mistakes with the translations uh that's my bad um but i mean i'm, I'm like i said i'm pretty sure it's like at least 95 percent accurate so if there are any ac actual you know, tangible, serious mistakes uh, in there or any errors, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. But um, from what I can see, you know, this Gogeta's mad busted and the Gotenks is also very, very good. Uh, there's not much for me to say. Oh, let me just mute this. There's not much else for me to say, guys. Uh, I'm going to leave you off on this beautiful, you know, set of animations and... Yo, to everybody that's summoning for Gogeta, good luck. Hope you guys pull him. Hope you get the Gotenks too, because once again, he's he's dope. Um, Fusion Reborn is easily top three of uh, my favorite Dragon Ball Z movies. Gogeta is, you know, I've been I've been a crazy Gogeta fanboy since day one. Whenever it comes to the debate of uh, Vegeta or Gogeta, I've always been Gogeta number one easily. Like that's that's always been the case. So. Yeah, I gotta have this guy. I gotta have this guy. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about him, what you think about the animations, what you think about everything. Um, for my global players out there, does this maybe convince you to go a little bit lighter on the anniversary banners to have more stones for this banner, which is, uh, I believe, coming out on global probably in November? That's usually the, the release time, right? I gotta check that, I gotta check that. But I'm pretty sure Ten of Bad Banners come out in November for Global. So it's not that far away. It's like, uh, you know, it's like four or five months, but still, not too far away. So uh, let me know what, if this changes your anniversary plans in any way, okay? Cause I don't know, I'm, I'm having some thoughts right now. I'm having some second, second thoughts about going like too crazy for the anniversary. I still will, I still will. We're still gonna spend thousands of stones, but this Gogeta gets me more hyped. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's just, just that's just the honest truth, man. That's just that's just how it is. Uh, that counter, dude, or not counter, the nullify things. It's crazy. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows. You want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here uh let's let's just play this one more time um yeah until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media
signing out.